Hey, what's up guys? Ian from iHelpCorner.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to activate your iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4. This is if you don't have a compatible SIM card or your SIM reader is broken and you want to bypass this activation screen. You restore to iOS 6.0 and it just won't work. Either you get this message or it says insert a compatible SIM card. Something along the lines of that. Follow this guide and it'll get your phone up and running. This is only for the iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4, not the 4S, not the iPhone 5. You're going to need to download two things. One is the 6.0 IPSW for your iPhone. The other is Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 2. Links to both of these are in the video description. Just look underneath the video and you'll find all the links to these files. So once they're downloaded, open up Red Snow by left clicking on it twice. Then go to the Extras tab. Go to the tab that says Select IPSW. And find your 6.0 firmware file that you downloaded. Once you select it, it'll say that the following firmware has successfully been identified. Just hit OK. Then it's going to ask you if you have a new boot ROM or old boot ROM on the iPhone 3GS. On the iPhone 4, it won't ask you this. Determine what you have and select accordingly. Okay, so go back and then go to where it says jailbreak and click on it. You're going to see these options. One says install Cydia, you know, all that good stuff. What you're going to select are these options. Here, let me make it focus. Okay, so just uh, select install Cydia. That's all you need. And hit next. And this is a very important step. Go to your iPhone and put a paper clip in the SIM tray and make sure there is no SIM card in there. You can also, on the iPhone 4, it's on the side right here. Let me see if I have one. On the iPhone 4, the SIM tray is located right here on the side. Opposite side of the volume buttons. There's like a little hole right here. It's not focusing very well. Okay, so anyways, once you remove the SIM card, power off your iPhone just by sliding to unlock. Sliding to power off. Once your iPhone is powered off, what you can do is just prepare to enter DFU mode. So what you're going to do is click next and then enter DFU mode by holding the power button, then holding both the home and the power button. The iPhone is going to power off, but you're going to keep holding both the home and the power button. Keep waiting about 5 seconds afterwards. Then release the power button, keep holding the home button. And once you see Red Snow change its screen, then you can let go. So now that red snow changed and it's doing something, you can let go, set your iPhone aside. And just let it do its thing. I'll be back once everything is done and I'll show you where to go from here. Okay, you're going to see this for about 5 minutes. Don't worry, just let your iPhone sit and it'll be done in no time. Trust me, don't panic, it's not frozen. Okay, now that your iPhone is up and running and it finished that long process, what you're going to do is just finish all these steps, so enter the language, country you're in, and all that good stuff. I'm going to enter my Wi-Fi password. Actually, it's already entered. So just hit next, and you'll see that it automatically skipped that screen. So the rest is pretty simple. Set up as a new iPhone. can skip this for now. Agree. Don't send. And start using your iPhone. There you go, you're activated, everything is good to go. You can unlock and relock and it's still going to be activated. You can turn off your phone. It's pretty much good to go. Anyways, I hope you guys liked watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Any video suggestions, feel free to inbox me. Uh, anything you guys have, just uh, let me know. Thank you.